Uh, when they had the American election, uh, I wondered if the, the Republicans moved to the religious right, if that actually put people off, uh, you know, with um, so this is, uh, the, the Republicans have moved towards a religious right to what extent that put people up. I, I think it did. I think there's no question that the Republicans have become a party that is, um, that owes its success, to the extent it has success, to the religious right, and, and therefore has alienated much of the population. Uh, the evangelicals unfortunately dominate the internal process within the Republican Party where candidates are chosen. See, even though those candidates are often not appealing to the general population, they get the nomination from the Republican Party because they appeal to the internal, uh, internal mechanism. My personal view is that the religious right is the greatest threat to liberty in the United States today, much more so than Obama and the left. Partially because the religious right is fundamentally leftist, not Right is when it comes to economic policy. I think you saw that, um, I don't know how many of you follow American politics, but you saw that with the candidacy of, of uh, Mike Huckabee, who was the candidate of the religious right, very much a populist when it came to economics, anti-free trade, anti-immigration, anti-Wall Street, um, and, you know, and, and very, very much wanting to move the party leftwards when it came to economic, and at the same time, wanting to control our lives you know, when it came to personal choices, uh, and wanted actually, actually at some point, said that he wanted to rewrite the American Constitution so that religion played a bigger role in it than it does uh, does today. And it actually, Palin, uh, who was uh, McCain's uh, choice for uh, vice president, played the same kind of the same kind of role, try to get evangelicals by appealing to religion. But her economics were very popular. You know, McCain and Palin started every speech attacking the oil companies and the drug companies, big oil and big drugs. So the people who provide the lifeline of Western civilization, who run everything runs on, and the people who make us better when we get sick and, and have the potential to prolong human life, you know, who, who knows by how many decades if they're left free. Those are the enemies that the Republicans need to, need to be against. Now, I think that wing of the Republican Party is very dangerous. I think it's growing in influence. I think that the Republicans, if anything, have moved more to the words of religious right and going to move more towards the religious right after the defeat in this election. There's a battle going on within the Republican Party right now between kind of the free market people and the religious conservatives. The religious conservatives clearly have the upper hand. It's going to be a real struggle over the next eight years of an Obama administration to see who wins that struggle. But if the religious right wins, then you know I'm not sure where hope for America lies. Certainly doesn't lie with the Democrats, but there'll be not, nothing left of the Republicans.